John, thanks for joining us. Um, difficult afternoon all round, and um, I think a lot of the fans are going away. A lot of the discussion points will be about the decision making uh, today with the referee. Yeah, well, obviously I'm region about that. Uh, the first goal for me is a blatant foul on Fernandi, and that uh, gives Dundee a great start in the game. You know, we were having to weather the storm, and it was only just a, a long. I think our, you know Ross Munro kicked the, the goal kick long. Their guys headed it over the top. Fernandes going back towards the goal, the guy's pushed him in the back, it's put him off balance and it's allowed their player to nip in between and, uh, and, and, and get the goal. And that has given them the platform for their performance, you know. Uh, it wasn't a matter of goals change games, but that gave the first goal in every game is so, so vitally important. And that was my point, that could cost us a game, the fact that, you know, when I look at it from the gantry there on the camera, you know, it may well be that the referee is right down the barrel you know, it's, he, he may he, he may not have been able to see, but what can be seen would be the fourth, uh, the sort of the assistant referee running the line, who should be running along the line, looking across the line, and he blatantly will be able to see the lad push for Nandy, which puts him off balance completely, and anywhere else, it's, it's a free kick, you know. So these guys should be communicating; they're all mic'd up, so the linesman could easily have made the referee's mind up there. And for me, it's not a goal. All we had to do was kind of weather the storm, get over the initial opening period, which Dundee had started quite well. Their movement was quite slick. It was quite good, to be fair. Uh, and it maybe just caught us out a little. But we did actually get over that period and we did kind of work our way into the game. And there were a couple of, you know, kind of half chances, you know, and then there's a penalty kick comes along. And, uh, you know, they're, they're two really, really cheap goals from our point of view. Uh, it's in the bottom corner of the 18-yard box. You know, there's not a great danger. It's not a goal-scoring opportunity. It's, you know, yeah, Fernandez lifts his leg. By all accounts, I'm told uh, that Fernandez once again, has been kind of elbowed in the back, which is kind of knocked off balance. He should really go with his head for that anyway, from my point of view, but I'm not really sure there was a great deal of element of dangerous play in it. You know, his foot was up, but how close was he to you know, so there are two cheap goals that we've, we've given away, and they are, they, are, they are the key points in any game. Yeah, Dundee were passing the ball out and they were, they were quite slick, but they've been gifted like two goals, you know. And as I say they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are the crucial elements of the game as, as the goals, and they were, they were two cheap goals that allowed them, you know, to have a good sort of footing in the game. So uh, that's really, really disappointing. Yeah. We've got, in my opinion, a Stonewall penalty kick in the second half, which could make the game 2-1, and it would have been game on. And that, that's what, you know, we needed to get that next kind of goal. And for me, that was, a, a you know, another situation where the officials have no... Well, they've certainly not seen it the same as, you know, myself and a number of Wraith Rovers-minded uh, people who were in the stadium today. Uh, so uh, it's disappointing that didn't happen if it had got the goal back, you know, it may have changed the game as we as we know at times goals change games. So it didn't materialise. The guys kept working away. Unfortunately we've lost a, a third goal. Uh, we had one or two B chances ourselves. Uh, uh, Ross Matthews done exceptionally well today and was very well worth his uh, man of the match award. Uh, so they were a bit slicker today. We need to learn for that. We need to move the wall a bit quicker ourselves. We, we got caught in the ball, you know a bit too often taking too many touches when eating with the ball quicker. So it wasn't a, it didn't wasn't a, it didn't work out for us today. But there's a you know, a long way to go. Yeah, I mean, we've said that, you know, Dundee moved the ball quite well. Uh, and uh, you know, from that point of view their movement was good. We can we need to learn for that, you know. We've still uh not finding our feet from that point of view. Uh but uh Joe Victoria has been a bit unlucky with a shot he's put, you know, just beyond far away post. Uh, he had another shot, can he, can he block? We've got balls across the face of the goal that maybe, well, we should be trying to get on the end of them. Didn't quite materialise, but, you know, uh, you know, we need to be positive, we need to uh, regroup. It's uh, the first game, it's disappointing to lose a game uh, 3-0, regardless if it's home or away or wherever. Uh, but so you've got to hold your hand, it was a team that just came down for the Premiership that actually, you know, played well today. And uh, you know we've got a bit to a bit to go. Extra pace and intensity to today's game is that part of the kind of continued preparation for the league season? Yeah, there's no doubt, absolutely no doubt about it. You know we've got to take a, a wee lesson from that today when we play in our 
League uh, League One, we need to be uh, doing uh, to the opposition what Dundee have done yesterday. We'll catch up with you before Saturday's game at Inverness, John.